She's setting the thing on fire. I don't think we better stay. I don't think we better stay around here. <laughs> Things could get a little bit explosive. Aye, aye, aye. Sacrificing himself to bring down the castle. And now we finally have a sword. Just in case we need it, we'll put it on. Dungeons of the Lavalettes. Woo! It's night time. Okay, so the Witcher escaped from the fortress, but Arian chose to remain behind. Pride would not allow him to leave his family seat in enemy hands. The ensuing fire was a talk of the surrounding village for years. And to this day, the phrase Bright as the night, the castle burned down, remains in the local vernacular. Geralt was free. He rushed towards the riverboat of the special forces, his head a jumble of questions. Triss Marigold and Vernon Roche awaited him on the board of vessel. But alas, they had no answers. Riverboat? I don't know. Geralt, over here. <laughs> ah, uh oh, there's a mage down there. Oh, it's Triss! Huh. There you go, you see? My white lie got him killed. Obviously went to battle. In his cloth robes. Melitelli's heart. The talisman proved worthless to new boy. Geralt took the worthless bauble as a memento of human stupidity. <laughs> In fact, does it actually have any powers at all? New boy's talisman. My armor minus ten. We won't be wearing that anytime soon. Houses. Just because they're the last bits and bot uh, bits and bombs. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to keep these or whether or not we're going to uh, lose them at some point. But just in case we do get to keep them, once we leave this place, we'll, we'll collect them. Craftable thing, uh, craftable uh, materials. Don't know how expensive they are. How much are gonna? Uh, how, how much of a price they're gonna fetch the stores? But I've got tons of the, tons of the stuff. Hopefully, uh, it's gonna be worth our while. Twine and leather. 
weather. Sorry about that, Triss. I'm on. I'm, I'm coming. I'm on route. Russia's commando. Trouble. No, no trouble. said as this castle begins to burn I shan't miss this place to be perfectly frank with you not in the slightest bloody hell you didn't have to torch the castle you would have sneak out avoid anything resembling a bloodbath you left me the key to my manacles not an invisibility cloak Triss is everything all right not exactly I'm no longer the royal advisor I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel ruled Temeria now. Or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Flotsam? Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, Let's I... Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me. Even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! That old chestnut. Lines clear, Captain! Look at my wounds, I'm injured. I need some form of healing. Which kind I leave to your imagination. fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. But that same honor prevented him from saving himself. Burn, baby, burn. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Hmm. I like the storytelling aspect here. Four months earlier.
your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Well, well, well. We recognize that voice. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods, sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fault has to start with. I barely escaped in Edurn. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck. Time to go. Do you have a deal in? Deal or no deal? I'd say it's a deal. And so we begin chapter one. Plotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure the reception will get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. Look after us? The that cheek of it. Month. Must be. Okay. So it seems like a rather appropriate place to leave today's session. The long prologue, but finally we are at uh, chapter one, en route to Flotsam. So to find out what happens there, join me next time. See you soon.